Greetings YouTube people and Facebook people as well. What I hold in my hand is what could possibly be the last Neo Geo MVS game ever made. It's called Crowd Buster. It was, it's probably been in development for about two years now. I pre-ordered it over a year ago and it's finally here. This is basically a Metal Slug ripoff more or less. However, it's a homebrew and I support the company that made this. Uh, it's a company in Germany, the NG development team. I am a, obviously an MVS fan. And I'm going to unbox this because as far as I know there are, they are going to stop making MVS games. They're going on to do something else. So, without further ado, here we go. History. I feel like Neo Geo stuff. There you go. Mmm. Growl Buster. Cost a pretty penny, but they only made like five games or so for the Neo MVS. Always show your support because these people, they're not making a lot of money doing this, but they are very big fans of Neo games, as I am. Okay, what do we got? Crop Buster. Uh huh, here we go. The instructions. Not very difficult, not very complex. It's, it's an action game. Ah, uh, here we go. Dip settings, legal disclaimer. I'm going to film what the game actually looks like, but not now. That'll be part two. And this is it. Ha ha ha. It's taken me. It's, I've waited so long for this game. This is it. This is probably the last Neo Geo game to ever be made by a homebrew company or any other company. And I remember the Neo Geos, they were making games for it for 14 years. That's a pretty long run. Last game was Samurai Showdown 5, 2004. Neo was in existence until starting in 1990. There you go. This is it. Can't wait to play it. Thanks for watching.